Welcome to the lecture series on real analysis. In this video, we are primarily going to prove the relation between a set and a complement of a set. Okay, let us recall what do we mean by a complement of a set. Suppose we have this to be our metric space X and let this be the set E. All those points which are not members of this E, that is the points of the metric space which is not present in E is called as the complement of a set. Okay. By the nature of E, can we say about the nature of E complement? That is what we are going to see in this lecture. But before going to that result, let us prove a primary result okay, which is to be used in the upcoming videos, that is in the upcoming lectures. That is, here we are given a collection of finite and arbitrary. This is some collection of sets E alpha. Okay. After making the union, we are taking the complement. How is it going to be? It is taking the complement and then the intersection. This we might have seen in the basic set theory, but here we are going to prove this thing in general. Okay, let us see about the proof. Suppose, okay, before starting this proof, let us see what are these things. These things are two sets, right? Okay, let even something. Okay, we have all these things. We are just making the union of these things and we are going to take the complement. So, this part is going to be our this union of that thing complement, right? So, this is some set, right? Similarly, this is also some set. Whenever we need to prove two sets are equal, we will have to prove A is contained in B and B is contained in A. If this is so, then we can say A and B are equal. So, this is the idea that we are going to make use to prove this theorem. Okay. Let us start the proof. Suppose, let me take a member in this. Okay. This is present in the union of E alpha complement which means this x is not a member of this union right okay when do we say a member is present in the union this has to be a member of either of the set okay but we are saying that this is not a member of this union which means your x is not a member of all the e alphas Okay, if it has to be present in the union, it has to be a member of either of the set. Here, it is not present in this union means it is not a member of all the things, which means it is a member of all the things, right? It is a member of E alpha complement for all alpha. So, if it is present in all the complements, then we can say this, this is a member in the intersection. Okay, where we have started, we have started with x is a member of this set and finally we proved this is a member of this set. This tells you your union of these things complement is contained in intersection of this thing. Let us have this to be our equation 1. Okay, now let us see what is happening in the other way. Here, okay, conversely, or on the other hand, let us take x is present in the intersection. Okay. If it is present in the intersection means x is a member of E alpha complement for all alpha. Okay. So, this tells you x is not a member in E alpha for any alpha. Not even for a single alpha, this is a member of E alpha. Okay, if this is the case, x will not be a member in union as well. If x is not a member in union, then we can say that x is a member in the union complement. So, we have started from here and we ended here. This tells you your intersection E alpha complement is contained in union whole complement. Okay. So this is alpha, this is alpha, this is also alpha. 
okay so let us have this to be equation to combining one and two what we get we get union e alpha whole complement is same as that of intersection of e alpha complement okay this completes the proof now we are going to prove one more result that i have told you in the beginning of this lecture that is the relation between a set and its complement can you guess what it could be yes whenever we are given the set is open its complement is going to be closed that is what we are going to prove in a formula sets we are going to prove a set is open if and only if its complement is closed okay in this theorem also we have to prove two ways that is assuming e is open we have to prove e complement is closed and assuming e complement is closed we have to prove e is open let us start the proof okay before starting the proof let us recall what do we mean by open set and a closed set okay initially open set what do we mean by an open set whatever may be the set suppose this is a set e okay in the metric space x for all the points inside the e we must identify some neighborhood that is completely contained in e which means all the points of this e has to be interior points of e okay next in order to say some set is closed all the limit points of that set is a member of that set okay these are the definitions in order to check the limit point what should we do we have to identify all possible neighborhoods of that point and we have to check whether we have some other point of the set is present inside the neighborhood or not and one more thing in order to be a limit point it may be a point of a set or may not be a point of a set if all the limit points of the set is present inside the set then we can say that set is closed okay now we will start the proof first let us take the case e is open assuming e is open what should we do we have to prove e complement is closed okay in order to say e complement is closed what should we do yes suppose x is a limit point of e complement then we need to prove this x is present in e complement in order to say x is present in e complement we may also say that x is not a member of e as well okay how are we going to achieve it okay since x is given to be a limit point of e complement we have uh, there is a point of e complement in d sorry in all possible neighborhoods in neighborhoods of x with any radius okay this is a member of some point of e complement is present in the neighborhood of x which means uh, let us say that this neighborhood is n okay if this is so your n has some point of e complement okay some point of e complement is present in n therefore this n is not completely contained in e right so here we are saying that this is true for all the neighborhoods so no such neighborhood is satisfying the property that that is completely contained in e this tells you what your x is not an interior point of e what kind of set e is e is an open set so all the points of e are interior points this x cannot be a interior point of e 
this tells you your x is not a member of E. If x is not a member of E, you are left with the only possibility that x is in E complement. Therefore, what? All the limit points of E complement are members of E complement. This proves E complement is closed. Right? Now we will have to prove the other way. So in order to prove the other way, what are we going to do? We are going to assume E complement is closed. Okay. Then we are going to prove E is open. Now, what should we do? We have to prove all the points of this E are interior points. Okay. How are we going to prove some points are interior points of E? We have to identify some neighborhood, at least one neighborhood of the point which is completely contained in E. Okay. Now let us take uh, x is a member of E. This tells you x is not a member of E complement. Right? If x is not a member of E complement, x cannot be a limit point of E complement. Because this set is closed. If it is closed, all the limit points of the set is present in E complement itself. Since this is not a member of E complement, it cannot be a limit point. Okay, if it cannot be a limit point, then what happens? A neighborhood. You can take any neighborhood of X does not intersect with E complement. What do we mean by does not intersect with E complement? That is, if you choose this neighborhood N, okay, let us name the neighborhood as N, this N intersection E complement is going to be empty. Because if this is a limit point, okay, if this is a limit, okay, let me choose somewhere here, okay, if this is a limit point of E complement, in all possible neighborhoods of that x, we will have some point of E complement. Here, it cannot be the limit point, which means it must not have at least one point of E complement in this neighborhood. So, if it has to be the case, then the x that we have chosen must be inside this E, so that when you take, a, even if you take a very small neighborhood, that is completely contained in this E itself. That is, the intersection is going to be empty. When the intersection is empty, E, this clearly tells you that N is completely contained in E. So, where we have started? We have started with X is a member of E and the neighbor, some neighborhood of X is completely contained in E which tells you X is an interior point of E. The choice of E, choice of X was arbitrary and we prove it is an interior point of E, hence your set is open. This completes the proof of this theorem. Okay. Here what we have proved, we have proved E is open if and only if E complement is closed. What happens if a set is closed? This is true if and only if f complement is open. Okay, this is a corollary to this theorem. If you want to write a formal proof of this theorem, then you may choose your f to be E complement. Okay, so that your F complement becomes E and you can apply the same proof and you can prove this. Okay. In this lecture, what we have proved is that we have proved a relation between intersection and the uh, union 
with the help of a complement idea and then we prove a set is open if and only if as its complement is closed okay thank you for watching this video if you have any queries you can post it in the comment section that will be clarified within 24 hours of time thank you